Select Similar is an all-new pattern recognition algorithm in SpectraLayers Pro 7. This video will take you through the feature step by step, and we'll start by listening to this clip. I'm going to extract every kick drum hit in one process. I'll start with the zoom tool to zoom in on a single instance of the sound. Simply hover your tool over the sound and click and drag until that sound fills the entire graph. I've chosen the selection brush tool to make this selection. Here I can adjust the brush size before going into the spectral graph and simply clicking and dragging over the sound to make my selection. With my selection now in place, I can zoom back out again to see the whole sound before moving to the Select drop-down menu and choosing Select Similar. When I click on that, the Select Similar dialog box appears. Here, the algorithm can be modified in a number of different ways. If you've had any experience working with the Unmix Components process in SpectraLayers Pro 7, then I'm sure you're well aware of just how good this program's algorithms are at discriminating between tones, transients, and noise. Using the matchboxes allows you to fine-tune the algorithms to best suit your source material. MatchPower adds a level detection algorithm to the process, and you can even sample from all layers at once if you wish. I'm just going to use the default setting, click Select All, every kick drum is selected, and I can addition my selections using the space bar. I'm going to cut these kick drums to a new layer. Select Edit, Cut Special, Cut to New Layer. When I click that, the new layer appears instantly in the Layers panel. In Composite View Mode, I can give my new layer a unique color that differentiates it from the original source material. I can also rename the new layer. Now when I click the solo button and hit the space bar, I can hear my new kick drum layer played in isolation in Spectral Layers Pro 7. Now when I addition the original source material layer, the kick drum is no longer present. Both layers can be played back at once with artifact-free performance. Of course, other selection tools in Spectral Layers Pro 7 can be used to make selections that are available to the Select Similar process. Here I'm using the Magic Wand tool to make a really tight selection on one of these kick drums. Here I'm going through the same process, but with a slightly different setting that addresses the complexity of my selection. Here I'm dialing the similarity detection percentage down to 10%. And this eases the demand for the algorithm to rigidly adhere to the highly specific nature of the selection boundaries defined by the Magic Wand tool. Okay, I think you can see by now that the process has overselected a little bit. Let's just zoom in and find the item that does not belong. Okay, obviously it's the third item in this group. I'm going up to the top menu bar and choosing the Subtract from Selection option. Then, I'm going to grab the Rectangular Selection tool and simply drag it over the object that I want to subtract from my overall selection. And it's gone. Simple as that. And now we're left with a perfect selection. Selections can be saved. Perform Select, Save Selection, give it a name, and click OK. Your selection is now saved. Follow the same path to restore your selection. Select, Load Selection, make sure your selection is selected, and click OK. The selection returns. And that's the basics. This feature is the perfect example of how the classic Spectral Layers toolset works together with the new automated features in Spectral Layers Pro 7 to make this the most significant upgrade to date. We hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Spectral Layers Pro 7 delivers audio empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.